let's turn the sphere into a pearl. And here are some reference photos. We have the black pearl with green reflections in front and uh, gradually turning purple as they approach the sides. Here's another example. This is less extreme, but you can still see the color transitions. So this is going to be a bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And also the white pearl. Uh, this one has some sort of pink, green reflections in random patterns. And that's because in real life the pearls are made from many, many layers with uh, different refractions, reflections and so on. And this goes that uh, the 3D look you see in this photo. We're going to try and create something similar by using V-Ray. So let's start with this white pearl. So the first step is determining the diffuse color. And I think we can use something like uh, dark beige or beige, like here. So let's do that. Let's create a new V-Ray material and set up a beige diffuse color. I think that's pretty close. Drag and drop render. And maybe maybe a bit too saturated. I'm just gonna desaturate it a little bit. Let's see how that looks. I think that's better. Okay, so that's the base, the diffuse color. Now we need to add some color, colorful reflections. So when using colorful reflections, for example, I'm gonna show you with pure red you're going to notice that the rest of the object turns uh, sort of blue-green. And that's the effect of the color preservation mode. And it can be a bit difficult to predict accurately what, what the final result is going to look with colored reflections and, and lighter diffuse colors. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the Options tab and you want to change the energy preservation mode to monochrome. And as you do that, you're going to see uh, that the whole thing turns red. And it's going to be much easier to control the final result with the monochrome mode. Okay, so set that to mono. And we're going to set up a noise map in the reflect slot. Okay, nice. Here we go. And this is how it looks right now. And I think it's a bit too even, too perfect. and doesn't look too natural. So let's change it to fractal. And this is going to give us multiple levels of noise. Let's look at our reference. Okay. And set up the colors like this. Let's make them pretty bright. And the first color is going to be pink. And the second color is going to be a bit green. Like this. Okay. Let's render and see how it looks. I think the nice size might be too large. Let's try to reduce it to maybe three. And you can start to see some colors in there. Okay, so that's a good start. And now we're going to enable the frontal reflections. Maybe let's try them at four for now. And blur the, uh, blur, blur the reflections by reducing the glossiness to match the reference. Or actually, I'm going to blur them even more make sure my reflections are nice and large. So this is going to be something like not the uppermost layer with these nice bright reflections, but something a bit lower where the color is coming from and it's quite blurred. Okay, maybe let's increase the front all much more. Get this reflective look. All right, looking good. Maybe let's increase the saturation a bit. 
just to make the effect stronger. And you can see some pinks and greens in a random pattern on our pearl. But the reflections are much more blurry than over here. So how do we fix that? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my material to V-Ray Blend Material. We're going to add another layer. So copy this material to the code material slot. And this is going to be our second layer. And for the second layer, I'm going to use much higher reflection glossiness. Lower Fresnel, maybe 4. And I'm going to get rid of the noise map and just use a regular uh, light gray color. And once you render, you're going to see some nicer, nicer looking crisp reflections and a weak colored reflection layer below it. Okay, our reference actually has stronger, stronger colors in the reflections. So we can try try to simulate that by increasing the saturation of our reflect colors. But I actually prefer colors not so strong. Maybe let's make it a bit colder. And a nice, nice result. And the final step we need to do is add some bump. And to add some bump, first we're going to add some bump to this lower layer. And I'm going to use a fractal noise map. Maybe a bit larger size, maybe 10. Okay, I'm going to bump up the levels to add some finer detail. Okay, looks better. And now we're going to add a bump map to the code material as well. So go in your code material, move down to maps, bump, and set up a noise map here. Right, I'm going to make the bump for this coat layer much weaker. Let's start at 5. And let's use a fractal noise map. Maybe set the size to 15. See how that looks. Let's try smaller. Let's try 5. Okay, it looks pretty good. And maybe let's reduce it to two. Okay. And I think the result looks pretty much like a pearl. Pretty nice. So this material is going to be white pearl. And let's make another material for the black pearl. Okay, so the diffuse color is pretty dark, almost black. Let's start with a regular mirror material and set up a dark diffuse color, almost black. And now the reflections. So we have this weird color transition from green in front to purple on the sides. We can do that by using a fall of map. Okay. 
So the first color is going to be green, sort of bluish green. And the second color is going to be dark purple, I mean darker. Okay. And we're going to disable the RGB color preservation mode and change that to monochrome. Okay, and see how it looks. All right. So first of all, it's much too reflective. So let's enable Fresnel. Let's try it at four. And second of all, and the transition is not exactly as we want it to be. So you're going to play with the curves over here. Okay, so let's bring that purple closer, like this. Okay, that's better. And the purple is much too colorful, much too saturated. Let's make it darker, like this, and see how that looks. Okay. And let's try to bring it even closer. Okay, that's good. Let's blur the reflections a bit. All right, it looks like the reflections are pretty sharp. You can see the camera here and the guy photographing the pearl. So the reflections are pretty sharp. But at the same time it looks like there are large shiny areas and this again is because of the multi-layer effect. So to do that for this first layer we're gonna blur the reflections to maybe 0 0.6 or so. Okay, that looks good. Maybe let's make them a bit stronger. I'm just gonna bump up the frontal value. All right. And we're gonna add a second layer. just like we did before. Paste copy. For this one I'm just going to simply bring up the reflection glossiness to maybe 0 0.95 and re-render. Okay, first let's reduce the frontal to 4. And that's much better. Okay, so this barrel is pretty smooth, but we can still add some uh, some bump to it just to make it a bit less perfect. It always looks better with a little bit of bump. So just the noise map. Set it to fractal. Reduce the size. Let's try three. And let's set the bump amount to two. Okay. Maybe let's try even smaller. Let's try one and see how that looks. Okay, that's better. Maybe let's add a slight bump to the base as well. OK, 
Okay, and let's try it at 10. And make it pretty weak. We don't want the fact to be too strong. And it actually looks like we're pretty close. Maybe let's make um, make this purple a bit darker. Okay, and that's the black pearl material. Okay, good. So you can see how you can use the monochrome energy preservation mode to control the color deflections better and how you can use a blend material to set up uh, more than one layer with different reflections and shininess.